with him, if you would, and find out how you can help him, if possible, to launch a, a company that he wants to take to the people. He literally wants to take his products through the, the word of mouth and allow people to take this out to the world. Well, i have been doing that for about 12 years at the time, 12 and a half years when I met Steve. I walked in, looked at this wall of fame, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but I mean literally all of the celebrities that I grew up with were on Steve's walls. And I said, Steve, what is going on here? So Steve told me about his background. You'll hear about that in a minute. He told me about his experiences and his experiences working with these people. But one of the things that I heard was that Steve had spent literally his entire career looking for breakthrough products. That was his, he, he did everything he could. We even were talking about it earlier this evening uh, as I was getting ready to take off and jump on the call from home and Steve's still at the office and and we just talked about it. We talked about our experiences. We talked about, um, I told him about an experience that I had, you know, my very first real big job and I had, uh, I we lost it. We failed miserably, but the bottom line was it was a great learning experience and incredible wisdom. And that's really what we look for in life, isn't it? We want ways to be able to continue to help us develop our skills, our thoughts, our ideas. And of course, the wisdom that comes along with that is amazing. And that's what I found with Steve. And of course, then he told me about over the last 16 years at that point, that he had been studying glutathione and how to deliver it effectively and efficiently into the body. And I said, wow, you know, I'm learning more than I've ever learned. I thought I knew something about glutathione, all the things that I thought I knew I learned how much I didn't know about it as I talked to Steve. So I'm excited for everybody to hear from Steve tonight. We've got an incredible product, uh, two products, that one for the skin, one ingestible, one in, uh, just absolutely incredible technology, the IP that we own. You can't find these products anywhere else, folks. So as you listen to Steve, understand you're going to learn about glutathione. You're going to learn about Steve. You're going to learn probably a little bit about me as we go through this. But the bottom line is, Take notes, be ready to understand more than you've ever understood about glutathione and about our technology. So with that being said, I'll turn it over to Steve. Steve, take it away. Thank you, Aaron. And um, let's see, these things keep flashing across my screen. I wonder if there's any way to stop that. There isn't, but so I've got I, them. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, well, I uh, just a little bit about my background. I... Failed miserably for the first uh, six years after college. Uh oh, I better get a Kleenex. I'm going to sneeze. And um, the uh, I couldn't succeed no matter how hard I tried. Then my best friend, Gary Smalley, uh, got me to commit to reading a chapter of the book of Proverbs every day for two years and promised me that if I do that, I'd find wisdom that I had never experienced and it would change everything. Well, that's exactly what happened. I went through my first nine jobs. On my ninth job, however, uh, by that time I had these strategies, a total of 16 strategies, and I applied them, even though I was in an a insignificant position in the company, uh, I in, in the four months I worked there, I doubled their sales from $30 million a year to $60 million. And with that, a friend offered to back me in my own business. We would start a company with his $5,000. I would find a breakthrough product and uh, we'd put it on TV and see what happened. Well, we found the product. He, we did spend his 5000 And five months later, our sales hit a million dollars a week. And that was in 1976. And uh, so a million dollars a week was a lot of money then. Uh, gasoline was selling for about 45 cents a gallon to put it in perspective. So anyway, uh, we are the key to our formula was find a breakthrough product. What's a breakthrough? A breakthrough is a product that does something that nothing else in the world can do either as effectively, efficiently, or economically. Now, in the case of our first product, it wasn't an economic breakthrough. It was priced at four times as expensive as the number one product in that industry in the marketplace. And yet, in our first week forward, we were the number one product. We were out selling the number one brands, even though we were uh, four times expensive. as expensive. Why? Because it was a breakthrough in terms of results, in terms of effectiveness. And so that became our mantra. Let's find breakthrough products and marry them to a celebrity. We ended up with, by the time I retired 35 years later, uh, we had used 92 celebrities 
Uh, we had Academy Award winners, Emmy Award winners, Hall of Fame athletes. We had uh, Grammy Award winners. Um, I mean, they were household names, all of them. And we did very well. We, we sold billions of dollars worth of products. For people in the United States, what we're best known for is the Total Gym with Chuck Norris and Christy Brinkley, because that product has been on every single week in every market in the United States uh, for 26 years. It's the longest running infomercial campaign in history. Well, in 2006, I met a doctor from the Mayo Clinic. Uh, he was a researcher and instructor there, but he was also triple board certified in oncology, immunology, and hematology. Brilliant doctor had authored over 100 uh, papers that had been published. And uh, he introduced me to the word that he said would change my life. Uh, the word was glutathione. I had never heard of glutathione. And chances are there are people on this call that have never heard of it. I uh, was in a, um, I was asked to keynote a medical symposium with 300 doctors from all over the world in Cuba a few uh weeks ago, I guess, I can't even remember, time's flying so fast. And I asked the audience, how many of you have heard of glutathione? And four hands went up. Now, a few months earlier, I'd spoken at a symposium for 300 doctors in Mexico City from all over the world. And every one of them heard of glutathione because they were using it in IV form for anti-aging. So they all raised their hands. But that's the that's the variety. Glutathione is the most studied molecule in medicine, medical science, medicinal chemistry, biochemistry, and molecular biology. The most studied molecule. Over 170,000 published studies in top-level uh, medical journals and science journals. And so it is uh, most studied, and it performs over 400 functions in our bodies. In fact, 15 of those are critical for life, at least 15. Take any one of those away and we're dead. Take one of them away and we're dead within a few minutes. Uh, others, we might survive for, I don't know, five or six days, but it's that critical. And in fact, there'd be no oxygen-based life on earth without it, which means there'd be no life on earth because all life is oxygen-based. And um, and yet most people have never heard of it. And I remember when my son was in medical school, uh, I looked up in his molecular biology book, uh, Antioxidants, and there was glutathione. One paragraph, one paragraph on the most studied molecule in all of medicine. One paragraph. You see, doctors, um, as wonderful as they are, they're not scientists, honestly. They don't do research. They don't figure out how to fix this problem or that problem. They basically learn what they're taught in medical school and after that in different, different manners, uh, mainly uh, literature from uh, pharmaceutical companies. So anyway, I, he told me about glutathione. He basically said it changes everything. The people that can deliver glutathione and its precursor, uh, L-cysteine, most efficiently and effectively they will change everything. They'll change human performance. They'll change uh, health. They'll change longevity. He said it's the biggest game changer of all time. I believed him. I put over a million dollars into not only acquiring his patent, but in starting a company around that um, and uh, got some of my friends to put in a lot of money. And, and basically, we took that company to about four or 500 million in sales. And then because of disagreements with management, we parted ways. Well, in 2017, um, I met with some uh, nanoscientists. And the reason this was so interesting, you see, the biggest problem about raising glutathione levels is our stomach. Our stomach destroys it. It hits our stomach, the acid. It's a real fragile molecule and it breaks it apart. And that's a problem that science has been dealing with really since the 80s. And they have different alternatives and everything. But I knew that if we could nanosize it and get the particle size to a particular size, very, very tiny, that it would absorb right into the bloodstream through the mucous membranes. And topically, it could absorb through the skin. 
And um, if we could get that particle size down. And so we worked with this nanoscientist, one, a man who had been 20 years in the nano industry, and we were able to do to achieve our goals. Well, we got the product. Uh, we did some lab batches. And the first thing I wanted to see is the difference it would make in athletic performance. Because if I really had what I thought we would have, we would very significantly change athletic performance. So I gave some to uh, an endurance athlete. He used it for his workout. He does a two hour workout every night. And uh, it's a terrible workout. I, I can't imagine doing it. You're an hour on a treadmill at a 25% incline and then uh, jump off that and get into intensive rowing for another hour. And uh, this guy called me after his workout. He said, Steve, this is the greatest athletic product ever. And he told me why he felt that way. Well, the next morning he called me and he said, it's even better than I thought. And I said, why is that? He said, well, because normally after my workout, the next morning, I always wake up. I'm very stiff. I'm very sore. I have to use a roller on my legs. I have to do yoga. I have to do uh, stretching. And he said, it takes me about 45 minutes before I can function as a normal human being uh, in the mornings. And he was only 28 years old. And so he said, I woke up this morning after that workout and I wasn't sore. I wasn't stiff, nothing. He said, I went straight into my day. He said, there's nothing in the world that can do this. I've tried everything. Well, that got me excited. So I sent it to a friend of mine, a guy named Bill Gillespie. Bill was a strength and conditioning coach for the Seattle Seahawks uh, football team, NFL football team. Then he went to Liberty University. And I said, Bill, um, let's see how this works. Uh, I said, first of all, tell me how you're doing. He said, well, I'm not doing good. You see, when Bill was, um, how old? He was 49 years old in 2008. And he set the world record for the bench press at 804 pounds. And I said, okay, how are you doing? And he said, well, I'm really discouraged. I said, why? He said, man, he said, I, I hurt when I wake up. I've been weightlifting since I was 14 years old. He says, I'm 59 now. He says, I wake up hurting. I hurt all day through, through working out the athletes. I hurt at night. I don't sleep well. I wake up the next morning still hurting. He said, and what really discourages me is my bench press is down to 700 pounds. I said, Bill. That sounds like a lot to me for a 59-year-old. He said, well, it's a world record for a 59-year-old, but I don't get to compete with the elite guys anymore. And I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, uh, they're pushing 800 pounds. And um, he said, I, I can only lift heavy once a week. I used to lift heavy four times a week. Lifting heavy for Bill was sets and reps of over 400 pounds. And uh, he said, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm really discouraged. And I said, well, I've got good news. I think you're going to have everything change. He said, what do you mean? I said, I have a product. I want you to try it. I told him about our swish and how you swish it in your mouth goes right into your bloodstream. And uh, from the time it gets into the bloodstream till the time it's in your cells is only about 70 seconds. So you're going to see some amazing things happen. You should see a rapid, uh, uh, an accelerated recovery. Uh, increase in muscle output, increase in mental and physical stamina. He says, really? I said, yeah. I said, no stimulants, nothing that uh, would get you in trouble. It's just glutathione, which is made by every cell in your body and L-cysteine. And um, so your body's, you know, accepts it, loves it. There's nothing damaging. In fact, it's heart healthy, brain healthy. Every cell and tissue in your body wants it. And uh, he says, okay, I'll try it. Well, he tried it, and the results were amazing. Um, in the next, um, in the next uh, six months, his lift went to 915 pounds as a 59-year-old, and um, that was unheard of, new world record. And then in the next six months, as a 60-year-old, his lift went all the way up to 1,050 pounds. And he was able to lift heavy four times a week instead of one time a week. All of his aches and pains went away. So he started sleeping at night. Um, he was blown away. 
He could not even believe it. In fact, there's a video online. If you just type in NUMI, N-E-U-M-I, weightlifter, you'll get to see Bill's testimonial. And that was just after the first six months. Uh, this year, as a 62-year-old, his last meet, his third lift, he set a new world record of 1,129.8 pounds. That's the picture on the right that you're looking at. Okay, so how does that happen? Let me tell you a little bit about glutathione, if we can come back to me, Michael. Uh, glutathione, like I said, it performs over 400 functions, 15 critical to life that we know about, and it is the most studied molecule in, in medicinal chemistry, biochemistry, molecular biology, and medicine. It, it's the key to the vault of everything that we want, health, uh, how we mitigate diseases and, and everything. Glutathione is the key. So let's talk about some of its functions. First and foremost, just to give you an idea, when your body manufactures hemoglobin, the red blood cells, um, the whole purpose is to bind to oxygen and deliver oxygen to every cell in the body. Problem is when hemoglobin is manufactured, it has the wrong electromagnetic charge. Uh, it has to be reduced to a positive two, okay? When it's reduced to a positive two, it will bind to oxygen. It won't bind to oxygen until it's reduced. It'll bind to oxygen and deliver it. Well, the sole reduction agent of hemoglobin, the only thing that can reduce it to a positive two is glutathione. So without glutathione, there'd be no oxygen transfer. You take that nice deep breath. <gasps> Everybody take a deep breath and go into your lungs, then into your bloodstream, but it would just sit there. It wouldn't go to any of your cells. Your brain would die within eight minutes. Uh, your heart would die fairly quickly. Everything would die, okay? So that's pretty critical, uh, oxygen transfer, but that's just one. Most doctors, by the way, that even the ones that give IV glutathione, they're shocked when they hear it relates to oxygen transfer. Most of them didn't know that. I'll be telling that to a bunch of doctors in Las Vegas um, on Saturday, but uh, at a big convention. So uh, that's one thing it does. Another thing it does, it is the sole protector of your immune system. Your immune system is designed incredibly by our great designer uh, to protect us from bacterial and viral insults. And, um, the uh, I used to say assaults, but a scientist corrected me. No, we call them insults. Okay, so bacterial and viral insults. And the way it does that is that when you have adequate supplies of glutathione, the, uh, the immune cells, the T cells and the B cells, those are the assassins. They're the ones that target the bacteria and viruses. Well, when your glutathione levels are low, uh, guess what happens? They reproduce slowly in response to a bacterial or viral insult. When your glutathione levels are high, they reproduce explosively, okay, so they can get ahead of it. So how fast your T cells and B cells reproduce is entirely dependent upon glutathione. Low levels, they reproduce slowly. High levels, they reproduce rapidly. A friend of mine was in a car accident a couple months ago, he was hit by a motorcycle on, on the driver's side of the car. Uh, the motorcycle was going 100 miles an hour. And uh, he, of course, was knocked out unconscious instantly, broke 14 ribs. I mean, horrible what happened to him. But, uh, but OnStar said, we detect you've been in an accident. For uh, uh, First responders, emergency vehicles are on their way right now. And uh, three minutes later, the first responders got to him. He ended up getting to the hospital and uh, was later told by the doctors, if the first responders had been five minutes later, you'd be dead. See, everything is how fast we respond to things. And uh, so how fast your T cells and B cells can reproduce determines the effectiveness of your immune system. Okay, and that's entirely dependent on glutathione. So that's critical. Another thing, it is the sole protector of your mitochondrial DNA. Why is that important? Well, according to microbiologists, as long as the mitochondrial DNA remains intact and healthy, the cell cannot mutate. 
Now, we all know where mutating cells lead. It's a place where none of us want to go. Uh, however, when the mitochondrial DNA is compromised and broken, then the cell can muta mutate. Well, glutathione is the sole protector, the only thing that can protect the mitochondrial DNA. How does it do that? Well, everybody on this call has at least 200 industrial chemicals in your body right now, okay? Uh, we have 60 trillion cells. And those chemicals aren't meant to be in our body, but they're there. We get them through touch, through breathing. In fact, one of those chemicals, its only purpose is to keep the keyboards of computers uh, uh, cool so they don't overheat. And they absorb heat and they disperse the heat. And it's a fairly toxic chemical. Do you know every one of us has that chemical in us? In fact, when they tested umbilical cords, every umbilical cord they tested, which was over 2000, had that particular chemical. So we live in a toxic environment and it's the chemical load in the cell that breaks the mitochondrial DNA. So uh, when the chemical load is high, then the uh, mitochondrial DNA is more vulnerable to breakage. When it's low, it lasts longer and it can withstand and, 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 and isn't compromised. Glutathione protects the mitochondrial DNA because it is the primary detoxifier of the cell. Glutathione has this real sticky sulfhydryl molecule. It's like flypaper. So it sticks to the chemical and then it escorts it out of the cell. Okay. So in fact, one microbiologist said, we must find ways to raise glutathione levels in the cell because that's our only hope for lowering the chemical load in the cell. So that's vital. That's critical. Do you feel it doing anything? I had somebody tell me the other day, oh, I don't feel anything. Well, have you ever felt your cells being protected? Have you ever felt your immune system being protected? No, you feel it when they're not protected. Holy mackerel, when that mitochondrial DNA isn't protected and broken, don't worry, you'll feel it in your wallet. In fact, it causes a lot of people to go bankrupt. You'll feel it in your treatments. You'll feel it in your health. We don't want to go there. So glutathione protects us in that way. But what glutathione is best known for, it is best known as the master antioxidant. What does that mean? Well, every cell in your body, all 60 trillion of them, are attacked 10 to 20,000 times a day by free radicals. Those free radicals are inside the cell and they're outside of the cell. And what a free radical is, it's a scavenger. Uh, it's a thief. It wants to steal an electron from the cell. And when that happens, some really bad stuff happens. Number one, it causes oxidative stress. Too much oxygen that can't be handled by the cell. And you think, how can oxygen hurt anything? Hey, tell that to a rusty, tell that to a piece of uh, iron that's left out and gets too much oxygen from rain and it rusts, okay? Too much oxygen is not a good thing. The right amount's a very good thing. Well, that's oxidative stress. That oxidative stress that's caused by the free radical results in inflammation in the cell. And we all know that inflammation is our mortal enemy. It also accelerates, now listen to this, it accelerates the aging of that cell, of that tissue, of that organ, so how fast your heart, your brain, your liver, your kidneys, um, your pancreas, uh, your skin, how fast you age depends on oxidative stress. Unmitigated oxidative stress accelerates the aging. Guess what mitigates oxidative stress? Antioxidants. Antioxidants donate one of their electrons to the free radical. And when that donation takes place, it, it uh, captures or sequesters that free radical so it can't do the damage. Now, we've all heard of antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, superoxide dismutase, catalase, uh, CoQ10. They're all good antioxidants, glutathione. However, you have to realize there is a spectrum of free radicals, different sources, different chemical structures and compositions, different compositions and different structures, okay? So they're all very different. So each 
antioxidant is monofocused. What does that mean? It means it can take out one type, but can't deal with the others. Uh, I'll be in a hotel tomorrow and my key will open the my door, but it won't open any other door in the hotel. My neighbor owns hotels and he can get a master key to any of his hotels. He's told me that. And he can open any door in the hotel. He can open the door to the kitchen and the accounting office, good news or bad news. And uh, But any room in the hotel, he can open with a master key. And um, well, glutathione is called the master antioxidant because it's the one and only antioxidant that can sequester and neutralize all types of free radicals, regardless of source, structure, or chemical composition. All others are mono. So vitamin E could do that one, vitamin C that one, uh, superoxide dismutase that one, but they can't deal with the others. So that's why it's called the master antioxidant. It's amazing. Now, the, it, it, the amazing thing doesn't stop there. Vitamin C and vitamin E are great antioxidants for one reason they can be recycled. The vitamin E molecule and the vitamin C molecule can be recycled three to five times. So that means that that recycling allows them to take out 300% to 500% more uh, free radicals than they could if they couldn't be recycled. Guess what the recycling agent is? Glutathione. So glutathione can recycle vitamin E and vitamin C so they're it increases their range of effectiveness. Still, they're monofocused. They can each only take out one type. Now, glutathione is called the miracle molecule because it recycles itself. It's like a gun that can make ammunition as it fires ammunition. See, all other antioxidants have a single bullet. Take out a free radical, they're done. Now they're just wasting the cell. They have to be gotten rid of. Um, uh, vitamin C and E can be reloaded three to five times. Glutathione makes its own bullets. It recycles itself over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So many times science can't put a number on it. I've heard numbers as high as 30,000 times it reloads itself. So it'd be like having a gun and you got all these bad guys coming at you, a gun that would just keep reloading itself, making its own ammunition pretty crazy. Uh, that's why they call it the miracle molecules. So it, it, uh, it is the best. It's more than a million times more powerful than vitamin C or vitamin E. Greatest antioxidant in the history of the universe. But that's the good news. Bad news is glutathione declines 10 to 15% per decade, starting at the age of 20. As it declines, it opens the gateway to all 78 diseases of aging. Uh, that gateway is pretty well shut in the early years, but starting at 20, the gates are open because glutathione goes down and aging begins. How do we know that's when aging begins? We look at 12 biomarkers and those biomarkers, all 12 start to decline at the age of 20 here in the United States. It might vary a little bit from country to country, but uh, the gates opened as glutathione starts to take a dive. So I'm 74. That means that my body produces less than half of the glutathione that it produced at the age of 20. But the attack in the cell and on the cells and all the demands for the 400 things glutathione does, that never diminishes. So you've got the demand up here, but the ability to meet that demand has declined. So we of course, we age and we age more rapidly depending on the glutathione levels. So why don't we all go to the store and buy glutathione capsules? You don't even have to go to the store. Just go on Amazon, buy glutathione capsules. Problem is that as soon as glutathione hits the stomach, it's very fragile and it breaks. That sticky sulfhydra molecule that's the detoxifier of glutathione, it breaks right off and now it's useless, it won't be accepted into the cell, and um, you've just wasted your money to create expensive urine. So how do we get around that? Other people get around it. They put a lipid, a liposomal, a fat, uh, or poly, what is it, polyethylene glycol around it and to protect it through the stomach. It 
it's somewhat effective. Uh, we know that lipo it's, they're called liposomes. We know that liposomes leak. So how much actually gets delivered to the cell is one thing. We also know the cell doesn't like foreign bodies. And now you've surrounded it with either a chemical like polyethylene uh, glycol or with a fat. Your cell is designed to try to keep things out. So that's not necessarily that efficient. I, I tell people it's like pedaling a bicycle. I live on a mountain and it's very steep uh, grade. And uh, cyclists, either they walk their bikes up or they shift into the lowest gear and they go up like that. Imagine if you were only in high gear. You'd be doing that, but you'd be going like that, okay? That's inefficient. That's what most other approaches to glutathione are. Now, another approach is IV glutathione. You can go on for two to $300, depending on who's administering and what solution they're giving you. Uh, you can get IV glutathione. It only takes about an hour. It's two to three hundred dollars, and uh, but the problem with that, the half life of glutathione once it gets in the cell, is only ninety minutes. So, in that first ninety minutes, you become half as potent. The next ninety minutes, you become half of that and half that. So basically, you get about six good hours, and. Um, you may have some effect for up to 24 or 36 hours, but very, very minimal effect, okay? Is it worth two to $300? Well, if you're an athlete about to uh, go out and perform in an important event, maybe it's worth it, you know? And uh, the other problem with IV glutathione, besides the half-life problem, is when it gets in the blood, it's in the blood for so long that the blood actually dismantles it and breaks up into its three component parts, glycine, glutamic acid, and uh, L-cysteine. That's what actually gets delivered to the cytoplasm in the cell. It's not glutathione, it's their three component parts. Then the cell has to reassemble through a 100 step electrochemical process, those three component parts into one beautiful glutathione chain. So it's not the most efficient in the world. And um, so what did we do? We worked at nanosizing the particles uh, to a particle size. We encapsulate not with lipids or chemicals, but with reorganized water molecules. And the results have been amazing. They go right into your, your bloodstream through your mucous membranes inside your cheeks and sublingually in the venous cavity. And, uh, and from the time it gets in, we've been told by nanoscientists at University of Utah, pretty smart lady, uh, she's a PhD in uh, physics and a PhD in chemistry, and she's been in nano for 20 years. She said we are out of, this, out of the bloodstream into the cells in 70 seconds. So we see this incredibly fast turnaround, which is why athletes love it. If you're an athlete, by the way, or if you work out, don't swish a half hour before your workout. Swish five minutes, two to five minutes before the workout and immediately after the workout. That's the key if you work out. And uh, you'll see your pr productivity, how much you can uh, perform, how well you perform. You'll see it go way up and you'll see your recovery go way down, the amount of time it takes to recover. Uh, that's what we tend to see. So that's what we have. And uh, does it work? Well, one of our athletes was in a 100 mile bike race and um, She's a former army, army captain, was an aide to General Petraeus in, in Iraq, combat veteran, wonderful woman, became mother of three, left the armed services, but she still likes cycling and she still likes uh, marathons. Well, she was in a 100-mile bike race, uh, breaking her records, by the way, on our product, when at mile 37, she got into an accident, went end over end on her bike and hit the pavement so hard, it broke her helmet, knocked her out, put her in the hospital for three and a half days. And on the wreck was on Saturday. You can see her face on Sunday. Um, and the plastic surgeon said that would take about five to six weeks to clear. Well, she gets home on Tuesday night and thinks this stuff's nano. So she pours some on a cotton ball and applies it to the affected area of her face. She did the same thing three times on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And lo and behold, by Sunday, you can see her face was cleared. Not even a scar. The plastic surgeon couldn't believe it. Well, Tammy sent me these pictures. When I saw it, I thought, oh my goodness, 
we may have the world's best skincare product. I had owned uh, four different companies, uh, skincare and makeup companies. We had Cher as a spokesman for one. We had uh, Kathy Lee Gifford on another one. We had Meredith Baxter, Bernie Alley McGraw, and Lisa Hartman on another one. And we, I even had Angie Dickinson on my first one. So I know skincare. My formulator was the president of the American Society of Cosmetic Chemists, brilliant, world-renowned. In fact, he became a senior vice president for the company that created Botox. Well, I went ahead, poured some in some spray bottles, sent them to some friends, said, spray your face five times a day and let's see what happens. Let's go to the next one. So the one in the middle, if you can, there you go. This is Sherry Warner. Sherry, this was in, two, in 2018, uh, three years before we started NUMI. She, I, she sprayed five times a day, That the before picture and then the after is seven weeks later. When I got that and a few other pictures, I knew we had hit the home run of home runs. That This was without a doubt the number one skincare product in the world. There's nothing. I sent it to my formulator, former formulator, who um, at the time was with the company that created Botox. And when he saw this, he said, Steve, nobody can do this. Nobody can. This is it's like she had a facelift. And are you sure she didn't? I said, I promise you she didn't. Well, now she's a Numi diamond. Uh, her sister's a double diamond, and um, and her sister saw the same kind of results. Let's look at the hands on the left. Uh, so that's the 58-year-old in Australia where the sun damage is really bad. Now, this lady was swishing daily two or three times a day, and she sprayed her hands uh, three or four times a day. And that was in about six or seven weeks. And look at the difference. It's crazy. Okay, let's go to the right. No, I think it's to the right. Okay, no, let's go down because that, that was a couple, I think that was like four weeks. Okay, this lady here is a is a client of uh, a NUMI distributor in Australia and she saw amazing outcomes. This is four weeks and her, her pore size was diminished. Uh, she couldn't believe how much smoother and brighter her skin was. She said, the only problem is everybody keeps asking me how I lost my weight. They all think I lost weight. I didn't lose a pound. And yet it looks like her face is so much tighter. It looks like um, it looks like she might have lost a significant amount of weight. The woman on the right, this was eight days, and um, she owns a skincare salon in Miami. She's an esthetician. She called up after eight days and she said, look at the difference. Look how much smoother uh, my pores have been their appearance has been diminished. Look how much brighter. She said, it's the exact same lighting. Look at how much healthier my, she said, it's after eight days. She said, Steve, there's nothing in the world that can do this. And uh, yet we did it. So this was all in our experimental days before we actually had packaged product for sale. Let's go ahead and go down and look at it just a couple more. So this was my hands. I was much younger here. I was 71. And uh, I sprayed my right hand, but didn't spray my left hand. Ryan wanted me to spray half a face. And I said, I don't want to look like a freak. So I sprayed my right hand, not the left. Look at how much smoother, how the, uh, the appearance of the uh, uh, wrinkles have been really diminished. Uh, the skin looks healthier and brighter. And the only thing that changed was I was spraying it about four to five times a day for seven weeks. Okay, let's go down. We're almost done. And this is one of my favorites. This is an 80-year-old mother of a doctor in Nigeria. The doctor was treating one of our NUMI family members and said, what are you doing with your face? And she held up our spray. She said, can I have some for my mom? So this is her mom. And she sprayed her face uh, three times a day for four weeks. Look at the difference. Now, once again, there's nothing in the world that can do that. So that's kind of what we have. Uh, people say, hey, I use this net, I use this glutathione product. Oh, this guy was one week. He's the brother of one of our of our new crown diamond, Alex Monterosa's brother uh, in Dallas, Texas. This was a couple of years ago. He was 45. That was one week, and he couldn't believe it. Okay, if we can come back, thank you. And so that's what we have. People say, hey, I'm already on glutathione. I had a doctor tell me that this week. I'm on glutathione. I use this. 
I said, well, it's liposomal. Oh, no, no, it's not liposomal. I went back and checked and it is liposomal. And um, so he has no idea what he's doing, honestly. He's a nice guy, but doesn't know what he's doing. And um, what's the problem with liposomal? Well, it can go rancid. Uh, it, um, it leaks, liposomes typically leak. Some leak more than others. Uh, it's just not efficient. It's riding a bicycle uphill in high gear. Um, I've had one doctor who's also a scientist say, uh, compared to everybody else, everybody else is like a skateboard. You're like an F-35 supersonic fighter. By the way, we did testing at an F-35 base for four months with some uh, servicemen, amazing results. And so I understand what an F-35 is. It's our frontline fighter, the most advanced fighter in the world. And he said, that's what you have. And he said, but the amazing thing is you're selling the F-35 at a lower price than everybody else is selling skateboards. And I said, that's on purpose. We manufacture in-house. So that really cuts our costs down. Um, I have sold billions of dollars of product on television. Total Gym alone has done many billions in sales. And um, I, I, we decided with this one not to put it on TV. I went on TV on a program and it was amazing what happened. We sold $3 million worth in four little appearances on a, on a very low rated TV program. And uh, so we were thinking that way, but a lot of things happened, one of which was COVID, and it changed all of our thinking. And uh, my son and Michael Firth, Alex Monterosa, uh, Rhonda and Sherry said, oh, Steve, this product is perfect for networking because it's so experiential. You experience the results. And um, I agreed. And so instead of, you know, just on We've had one campaign on TV where we've spent over $400 million that went to TV stations. And then we'd put the product in Walmart and Costco, give up half of our, of our uh, sales price to retail distribution. Well, now we're doing just the opposite. We decided to put it in the pockets of our networkers, our NUMI family members. And so we have a very uh, awesome, um, awesome uh, compensation plan. Aaron Renner came to us right out of heaven. He's he's our CEO and helped us with everything. Uh, Alex and, and all of our guys worked with Aaron and Ryan to create the best compensation plan we could. It's transparent. We don't have to, we're not, we don't have gotchas. We're not out there saying, okay, work real hard, get up there. Oops, you didn't make it. Sorry. You know, we've really simplified things. And some experts have called it the most generous uh, compensation plan in the industry. In fact, one guy who built a huge organization with another network marketing company that's going out of business said, I don't feel confident with Numi because they're giving away the farm. They, their compensation plan is so generous. I don't think they're going to be around in five years. Well, he's used to looking at binary plans, which is his plan. We have a very simple a uh, uh, unilevel plan. And so I just have to say guilty. Our plan is generous and that's how we want it. We want people to uh, experience economic benefit at every stage of this plan. So yes, it is. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to the guy who knows networking backwards, forwards, and inside out, because he's been doing it for a long time. Uh, our CEO and partner, he actually is one of the company owners, Aaron. Back to you. Well, Steve, thank you so much. And for all of you, I hope, again, you took notes. The best news is that we've got incredible videos. We've got incredible collateral materials, all kinds of brochures and other things that you can download. And that'll give you the ability to actually see Steve and share those with the people that you want to share with. It's an opportunity for you to give uh, a lot of information out. And again, based on the fact that we've got all these wonderful tools, you can find them again in the app. We give it away for free. Uh, it was interesting. Michael and I were laughing last night because there was a company that, you know, we just decided to do away with all of our renewal fees, all of our enrollment fees, all of the fees that we think are somewhat ridiculous, at least I do. 
And so that's why I said that we're not doing it anymore. Let's stop uh, charging people, especially in the midst of the world that we're currently in with inflation and other issues that people are dealing with. Why take the money out of your pocket when we can actually ask you, hey, we really want you to go out and build a business. And so do it. Just go out and build a business. We're not asking for anything from you. And so it makes it difficult. But Michael and I were laughing because we saw a company that literally just reinstituted its fees just right now. I mean, just right now they reinstituted. And I said to Steve earlier tonight, I said, you hear that? He said, no. And I said, can you imagine right before Christmas, right before the holidays, right before a time of giving that you're actually taking? It just makes zero sense. I don't understand it. I can't get my arms wrapped around it. But the fact is that as Steve mentioned, he said guilty as charged. Steve said to us a number of months ago, literally about a year, year and a half ago, hey, is there more room in the plan? Because we'd heard there was. We had our, our comp plan guru go through it. He went up one side, down the other. He said, yeah, there's a couple more percentage points that we could add. Steve said, add them. I would rather put the money right back in our family's pockets, give them the opportunity to receive the, the rewards that they're looking for. And we'll continue to do what we do best, which is try to uh, do the best we can with our product manufacturing, bottling, and of course, getting the product to you. So everybody, you need to realize we are in the right place at the right time. That's what creates opportunity. We know we've got the right products. We know we've got the right ingredients. We absolutely understand the glutathione. We understand what it does for the human body. And we absolutely want you to get your hands on it. So a lot of people will say, how do I get my hands on it? It's not difficult, folks. You can just literally reach out to that person that invited you to, to this broadcast, have a conversation with them and ask them, how do I get these products in my hands? Real simple, real simple process. If you need help with it, let us know, obviously from corporate side, uh, our customer service, whatever you need help with, but get back with those people that you invited to this call because folks, the fortunes in the follow through. So with that being said, I wanna remind everybody that a new you starts with new me. Thanks everybody. And again, remember on Wednesday night, we've got members night. We'll expect to see everybody there on Wednesday night. It's at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, welcome to Numi. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Goodbye.